episode about my journey with Lucky the Duck. So in the previous episode, we already saw how the way Lucky sleep, like uh, with one eyes open and one eyes closed. And actually, that is that is the um, defense mechanism to keep them aware. So like um, to watch out for the predator. So even though they are asleep, but they still aware of their surrounding situation. So um, in this episode, I gonna tell about um, what's happened during Lucky first two weeks and also how is our second attempt to bring Lucky back to the lake. So every morning as usual, Lucky walk with us to the lake and uh, she just love to running and following us. Morning. And you know, she loves to jump from my hand, out of my hand. And uh, there's one time that uh, I hold her like this, and then she just she just jump out to, and then she landing in the concrete. And I was so afraid that uh, she might broke her her leg or her neck. But lucky she was okay. But uh, the next day, I was so afraid that it might happen again. So. Um, I bring the sling to carry her. The sling like to carry the baby. So I put her inside the sling and then I walk with her like that. You know, when I carry her with that sling, I feel like a babysitter because she's just like a baby. But this time I'm not the babysitter, but I'm the duckling sitter. But then she's still jumping from that sling. You know, actually she really like to jump even at home if I put her a little bit higher. And then she just jump from that, um, that higher space going down so yeah I think she wanna be a bird maybe so because she's still jumping from that sling so the next day I'm using something different so I'm using the orange bag seems like between me and that orange bag have a very close connection because everything happened in Lucky's life I'm using that bag right so yeah I think maybe that's just my life now after being a mom is nothing not too far from everything about grocery stuff so from my home we bring lucky inside that bag and then we walk then i just let her go when we arrive in the lake so she w wouldn't be too tired and she really enjoy her time walking in the lake with um, auntie missy and also with uh, grandma lucy yeah she really have good time walking with them so after we walk usually if i carry her in my uh, lap at home she will just go to sleep or if I bring the sling inside my body and then she will just go to the sling. But uh, when we walk, of course she wanna jump out. But at home usually she just maybe she's tired from walking and she just really go and sleep. So on the day 15, three days after our first attempt to bring Lucky to the lake, I try to bring Lucky back to the lake again. So this is our second attempt to bring Lucky back to the lake. So as usual, we walk around the lake first, and then we, we walk, and then we try to find like which one is uh, her possibility of new family. So we we try to find like uh, any group of that 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 might be accept her in the family, and then we found uh, a group of that, and they have a, uh, I think they are, they have kids, and the kids are about the same age as a uh, Lucky. I think maybe that's Lucky's family because they are the same size. So maybe maybe that's Lucky's mom on that group also. So we bring her we bring her to that group. <laughs> However, when we bring her there, she doesn't want to be there and then she just running back to us again. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So 
So it doesn't work. So we try again. Put her back again. dia panggil kecaki ya kali but still she's still running back to us so seems like a, she's a little bit afraid when she saw them and she keep running back to us and I think maybe at this time like um she th she didn't feels like she's a duck but she feels that uh, she's part of us she part of uh, the human so our second attempt to bring Lucky back to the lake is failed. She doesn't want to join the group, but she just uh, running back to us and following us. So what can we do? Guys, have you ever thought what Lucky doing during one day? Actually, her life is quite interesting. She do a lot of things actually. So stay tuned and keep watching because I'm gonna tell everything that Lucky do in one day. So we can feel how's life being lucky. So guys, if you like the story about Lucky, don't forget to press the subscribe button so you will get any notification whenever I post a new video about Lucky so you didn't miss anything about Lucky. And also, it can help my channel grow. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. See ya.